Those of you who follow girls basketball know good and well the impact both Carrie and Sarah Schmidt had in Canton winding up at the Breslin Center for the past two years. The Chiefs were ranked this year as high as second in the state. Carrie averaged 12 points a game with three assists, six rebounds, and three steals. While Sarah averaged eight a game, four and a half assists, six rebounds, and two steals. All this while facing some of the top competition in the state. College basketball would have a place for Sarah and Carrie, but it won't. It's sad. It's really sad. I'm going to miss it a lot. Like, yeah. And everyone around it and the sport, just everything. It's like making me tear up. <laughs> I love the sport, and it's just, it's sad, but I'm happy for all the success we had and the memories it created. For these terrific twins, hockey is where they will take their talents to the next level. Why hockey? Our brother played when we were younger, and so we like grew up going to the rink and watching him. And our dad always made rink in our backyard in the winter. So we'd skate on that, and we just loved it. And so we started, we started in many mites, and so we just kept going. 14 years later, they've been two-time state champions in the elite club system, and even competed in the national finals. It's the physicality they're attracted to. Do you guys like to hit? Yeah. You guys actually like the contact of the sport. Yeah. But right. sometimes it's shown in basketball. <laughs> and they're also very grateful to have parents who juggled hockey and basketball almost since the time they could walk. How much do they mean to you guys? Then? A lot. Because I mean, and they've obviously sacrificed a lot. Yeah. And yeah, I love that. <laughs> The carry cry? No. You cried twice now. It's paying off. Next fall, both Sarah and Carrie will together suit up for Ohio State on full scholarship. And they've got a great role model to follow. Big sister Allison was a two time swimmer of the year at Canton. She's a multiple national record holder at the University of Georgia. And in 2008, won a bronze medal at the Beijing Olympics. It's fun to watch because you know that she works hard. So it's good that she gets rewarded because you know it's a lot of hard work. I swam for only high school and my shoulders hurt pretty bad. <laughs> I can only imagine like how she can do it every day. I see how much fun she had there at the Olympics and I want to go there someday. Now both say it didn't matter if they ended up at the same university but these two are alike in almost every way, and that includes consistently being there for each other. You always have best friend. Sarah and I are really close, so we do a lot. We, we do everything together. We have all the same friends, so yeah, always having someone there. And like Allison, their Olympic dreams just might be in reach. We made the um, National Development Camp the last two years, so I mean, it's a, it's a, it could happen. I mean, anything really could happen. So, I mean, if you keep working hard, who knows what can happen.